Okay, we should be back. Hopefully we are we are back on track. Sorry about that. I was just yeah, I was noting the chat like so long after I've like said stuff. Hopefully we're back on the same page. But I could see it when I hit stop streaming, it like is stopping for ages. <laughs> Hopefully I've given it enough time to sort itself out. Good day, good day, uh, Colleen. Are we are we lagging or are we are we in the same time? Have I replied to you with within an adequate time? Hey, almost no lag! Hooray! <laughs> Hopefully turning the graphics down to low will uh will sort out the last of the problem. Having no epic launcher, having the uh, graphics on low. Hopefully you won't uh, fall behind again. Rain, fire, and rock. All right. Oh, actually, what are our Is conditions? No sanctuary from this madness. It feels like it's running fast, but also it runs a bit better in the inn anyway. Um, who needs what items? You can have. You'll take the laudanum. You can have. I think you go quite quickly, so you can take those, and you can have some glimmers. All right, what's everyone's conditions? You want to use the blood? I don't know what that means. <laughs> but you want it. All right. <laughs> I'll do my best. If there's blood, I'll have you use it. You want to kill a lair boss? You want to use smoke bombs? That's fine. We can we can do that. <laughs> and I can blow on Gaunt. Use the blood. D um, shop. <laughs> do, do you have blood? Can you enlighten me? As to what the blood is. Nope. No, you can't. Okay, well, maybe the hoarder does. <laughs> uh, like poetic of her Paracelsus wanting to use the blood. <laughs> just just the interests. Um, alright. I knew there was one more thing I had to do. Bread. 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 No bread for you. You can't eat it. Whiskey. I would like the Vestal to be friends. With You'll probably become friends with the Leper because you'll do a lot of healing on the Leper. You know who you're least likely to heal? Probably the Plague Doctor. So you guys can be buds. There we go. They're friends. They might have like conflicting ideas because they're both healers but in different ways. So they might not be friends right now. So they, neither of them care about, none of my people care about where they go. What's the malaise? Oh, meltdown chance. Get it afraid. I have no stagecoach items. I can do that. And get uh, an uncommon seashell. Minus 10% damage. Ta oh, taken. Per negative token. I was like, how is that a good thing? <laughs> Minus damage per negative token. Uh, oh, imply and hit intimidate skills. Token combo. But a chance to bleed when you hit. You know what? That looks really good. This looks really good. Um, yeah, I can do this. The to the shroud. Timbers of the coastal villages are sodden with salt. Games and are going well so far. I've only had one fight so far, but that one fight went really well. <laughs> I've got a bit of a different setup to normal on my. Well, I've got a lot of the same characters I normally use, but with just slightly different builds than I normally run. I've got like a like a closet door, or like a wardrobe door in my room, just slightly open, and I keep catching it out the corner of my eye and assuming there's monsters in there. On the tide, in I need to close it properly. <laughs> I always do that, like if I see a door slightly open, my brain would just be like, probably monster. Imagine hands coming out of that, <laughs> coming out of that little crack in the door. Uh, so we go to the watchtower. Yeah, just like that hollow. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing here we need to do. Are you not alone? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, there's a lair. It reduces... We don't need to fight a lair yet. I know my barbarian wants to fight a lair. We don't have to fight the lair. We can go for the cash. We don't need to go for anything hard. Like, let's yeah, let's do the hero shrines. Let's unlock some skills. <laughs> a big lizard crawling in search for his long lost baby. Just a straight up dinosaur. Just stegosaurus. 
<laughs> or just a huge, like, Jurassic skink. Do you think... Do you think there's a... Look, there's that... There's that <laughs> too excited. There's that huge sloth. That do, uh, that could be one of those, but there's skinks. <laughs> so, you're ready to leave. You have stuff, you have stuff, you're ready to leave. So, these two. Imagine. You're nearly done. And I haven't... I think I've started yours. So let's carry on with the Hellions. Uh, Chapter three. Like Agarian, yes. Of <laughs> he was from the fancy games. Yeah, Agarian. That's a uh, is that a Skyrim that that one's in? I trained, studied, experimented. <laughs> As the advancing <laughs> army moved on, she huddled tightly in the tree's clammy roots. Hoping to be somehow swallowed up into the earth. Planning roots? At dawn, Slacking? How are we talking about sloths? Tormented by the exuberant cries of carrion crows, come to feast upon the corpses of her kin. When at last she stirred, the scavengers took flight, repulsed by the sight of this undeserving revenant. Mm, it's not great when the scavengers won't even eat you. Oh, she can drink beer now. Finally. <laughs> Who are you to step between me and my child? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking hurt. I got some theories now about this Pokemon community game. I think it's like in my microphone. <laughs> it's listening to me. Like every other app in the world. <laughs> so it wins you and removes horror. It will de-stress you. Oh, it will de-stress you if you're stressed and it will heal you if you're hurt. And it will de-stress slightly any allies. Okay. At first I wasn't sold, but you know what? It's pretty good. It does a lot of stuff. What would I drop for that? Um, like I could drop toe-to-toe -to -toe probably. But that's only just if I get pushed out of position. But then I could just more slowly move myself. Alright, let's swap for those. I think I think she has quite a good mobility, like in terms of her skills. I think position four is the only one she can't do anything in. Uh I think I'd rather go to the resistance encounter than head up to the cache. I I don't really care about scouting. Unless like I have like no wheels and shield and uh, armor. Scouting is probably one of the things I consider not important. Is there an ambush? <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh no, the slacking got away. <laughs> it knew I was onto it. <laughs> it didn't, start, didn't want to stick around. Alright, let's get to whacking. Let's deal with this guy first. Digging the music. Uh, we'll set up our ruin. Don't need to use our glimmers yet. No. You can't hit. You can hit him. Nope. You can't hit. You can hit him with blinding gas. These guys. Do they bleed? They bleed. Oh yeah, they bleed. <laughs> and, and we crit. We crit here. <laughs> In this town, we crit. Yeah, that's what you get for being blind. You miss your grabs. You get ice cold drink, brain freeze. <laughs> drink too ice cold. I bought a slushy machine a little while ago. It's pretty great. I made a mistake when I was making some slushies at a party though. And, and got, got salt in in the slushy and that was really disappointing but mostly I've made cocktails in the slushy machine and they have been amazing though I um <laughs> I made some Does that do damage it does well I guess you'll just have no corpse right yeah you get immediately cleared okay that's like a, like a little little Finishing touch, but it didn't actually benefit me at all. <laughs> I didn't get anything out of it. But I sure did it. 
Nope, that's Yorp. You don't need to Yorp right now. Oh, you can remove the stealth though. Yorp at him! <laughs> Get Yorped at. And then stabbed. Heck yeah, it worked! <laughs> They got yorped out of the shadows. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, a cocktails and slushy machines. I um, I was using gamer sups like the like gamer powder that you add to water to make like a, a flavored drink with like electrolytes and, and stuff, which is delicious. I love gamer sups, but <laughs> I was making cocktails with them and in the slushy machine. And so I was using that in place of the water, because it's flavoured. And so it was basically just um, alcohol and... Because the alcohol was doing the job of the sugar, so it was stopping it to uh, from freezing. <laughs> and the game was up. So <laughs> it was basically making drinks that were just alcohol and water. Uh, <laughs> I felt like an alcoholic when I was making one of them. Where I was just, I poured like vodka into um, <laughs> a cup and then just like water. <laughs> and I was just like, mm. <laughs> this feels like a bad idea. And then added the, the powder and stuff. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, because the game is such a drink, it has um, no sugar. Uh, it has like a, a sweetener, I think, instead. But yeah. So, <laughs> I was making those, and, who oh boy, I drank a lot of those, I made them very strong, and I was, I was not well. <laughs> they, they hit all at once. <laughs> oh, that was not very much damage. <laughs> they were, <laughs> I guess it just didn't have the thickness, <laughs> that, <laughs> that would have helped. Just, just water. Uh, you feel like an alcoholic. Your tea is stronger than vodka. What tea are you drinking? Is it just absinthe? <laughs> absinthe tea? I I can drink pretty good. I drink a lot of uh, rum. Rum's my favorite. I can drink. A ton of rum and be fine Pity like I'll get drunk but I won't like despair. get super ill or anything which is which is a win <laughs> let me have a look I'm, I'm googling that tetra T tetra T -ta tetra tetra T. what is it yeah herbal liqueur <laughs> I've had herbal liqueurs on holiday. <laughs> yeah, I see the 52% ones and the 72% ones. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've been given shots of, of like that or at least something like that. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like after dinners and stuff and then they're like here herbal liqueur and it's like ah, okay thanks go away <laughs> medicine medicine <laughs> great for mixing what what would you mix with it what do you mix with it uh, <laughs> no fight left but no one else agrees everyone else is ready to fight you'll make them fragile and you'll just fight on a, <laughs> on equal footing let's yeah let's do that <laughs> Example vodka to make it week 11. I I like uh, alcohol when it doesn't taste like alcohol. Except for whiskey. <laughs> I like whiskey. <laughs> In general, I uh, cover up the flavours. <laughs> unless it's fancy, I guess. Or unless it's like a really... Uh, I remember I um, had a blue, blue raspberry, not blueberry. I had blue raspberry um, vodka, and mixed that with grape Fanta, and it was fantastic. It was <laughs> such a kid drink. It was so good. 
<laughs> Use vodka to make it weaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's kind of like a really hardcore uh, martini <laughs> if, you, if you mix it with vodka. <laughs> uh, blueberry cider. I'm not sure I've had a blueberry cider. I've had I I I've had a uh, a lot of ciders. I like I like the Kopfberg ciders a lot, but um, the Brothers ciders are really great. They have a toffee apple one, which I love, and a rhubarb and custard one, which is also great. <laughs> I also like just um, regular cider too. When I went to Somerset, I I got like a proper farmer's like jerry can, <laughs> kind of plastic jerry can of um of cider and that was good stuff that was good strong stuff <laughs> uh, there's an apple cider every other dry brew cranberry gonna love it mm, yeah I, I like a flavored cider yeah yeah here, here we have a lot of cider um i also really like sour beers there's like a brewery in edinburgh that i really like vault city sour beer is so good they're coming up with new flavors all the time as well and they all look so good but they're so expensive <laughs> but they're so good i want to buy more of them <laughs> i bought a big case of them but they're really they're pretty potently sour so you can't like drink a ton of them in like one go i think you'd lose the enamel off your teeth <laughs> but they're they're good can you finish that guy? Nope. <laughs> no, you can't. Can you finish this guy? Nope. <laughs> oh, you're blind. Didn't even notice. Can you finish this guy? Yes. That's probably more important than putting our regen on. <laughs> Someone had to get there eventually. Do you bleed? You don't bleed that well, actually. But let's still try it. Oh, you could hit blinding gas on two. Oh, what's my fire at? Okay, I could probably use a glimmer. Oh, should I use it now or wait till the next fight? It's still pretty high. Do I bother ruining or do I intimidate first? Intimidate first seems good. Set up your taunt. Even though you don't have the ruin to benefit from it yet. I don't know, maybe putting the bleed on the ruin is good. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of a lovely lizard in the room. Is it me? I hope it's me. Oh, okay, three. I do actually want to play uh, of course I saw the bear scene and you know that <laughs> that really that really roused my interest. <laughs> but I've seen I've seen some interest and stuff. Yeah, I've seen uh some people saying I was playing as like the um druids and that like people really react to like the kinds of forms you have. I am interested in it. I'm gonna wait until it comes out on PS5 because my PC isn't up to much. <laughs> But yeah, I could play it on stream. I could get buy it on PS5 and play it on stream. I don't know. Is, is it a good stream game? You play uh, other Baldur's Gate. I haven't played any other Baldur's Gate before. Would it be a good stream one, or would it be good to like just play and tweet about X about? <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's put Ruin on. Hey, okay, yeah, so the PC. Uh. I mean, I have, I still have to do some savings. I still have to do some serious saving. Uh, everyone's too far away. But I had to. I bought a new phone. <laughs> My phone's like just absolutely dying, and I didn't realize how far behind phones I was. And I was like, okay, okay. I found like refurbished ones on Amazon. I was like, all right, I can justify this. I got a pay rise. I can, I can justify this. Um, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to have to hit one of these. You know what? I'm just going to have you like shuffle positions. Uh, friend is playing. It seems very fun. Oh, but there's Twitch integration. 
<laughs> I'm really gonna get screwed over by RNG, but also by chat. Does that... Would that work on PS5? Would it know? <laughs> uh... Oh, because they're stealthed! Ah, oh, they're stealth. You don't know. Because it's like, the streaming straight off the PS5, but I wouldn't want to do that. I would just like, capture card my PS5. Yeah, I guess it has to come out first. <laughs> that is true. That's a good point. Um, I'll stress to people. You, you're you at 5. So, you know what? You can, you can do this and um, de-stress yourself while these guys are hiding. Oh, that's right. It puts your blood, your winded on. Okay, there you go. Now you can clip the corpse. There's only one corpse left now. Oh, sorry. It wasn't even the corpses that were the issue. It was the stealth. <laughs> but now I can yorp them. That's just playing it. No problem. Yeah, but I don't, I, like, I don't want to watch people play it. I want to play it myself. <laughs> I don't want to see too much. <laughs> yeah, for my own comparison. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, go not going to watch anything before. <laughs> but I might have to do some googling to see if the Twitch integration can work. Um, through PS5. I hope so. I, d I like when things have Twitch integration. Yeah, everyone's doing it because of RNG, but I don't want to... I don't want to know, like, plot things and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, Twitch integrations are, uh, are cool. Call of the Lamb had Twitch integrations, but when I played it, it never quite worked right. <laughs> it was having, because it was like new. Um, I think it's probably run smoother now. <laughs> but it was cool. Yeah, look at those tokens. Because this is a special debuffing Vestal as well. Vestal is extra good at debuffing. So you should blight out yourself, and then you can put bloodlust on. <laughs> you remember the cotton house street? Just desperately trying to get it to work, everyone crashing on their character creation. <laughs> ah, you got your buff. <laughs> Great job. Proud of you. <laughs> With your buff and on a vulnerable. I need to fight more cosmic enemies. <laughs> this shop only works on cosmic enemies now. Damage Vestal. Call the Lamb was fun, but I wished it had more replayability. Because roguelikes normally have like so much replayability. And I really liked Call of the Lamb, but then even the second run, like playing it on a harder difficulty and picking all different upgrades, like it didn't feel like fresh again it very much felt like the same game that was a little bit disappointing but I did have a really fun time with Call of the Lamb what? it's over game you need though, yeah more viewers for the drama to happen it was still pretty fun to have people like running around with people's names and eating poop you know that's the the iconic moment <laughs> it was just playing this game. Mm. But usually, like, just roguelikes, like, in themselves have a lot of, like, replayability. That's, like, the whole point is that you replay them. Uh, did I marry someone? Did I marry someone? I think, no, I think the first time round, I didn't marry anyone. I did something different and then the second round the second time round I married I think I can't remember what the two options were it was it was a while ago it's a while ago I played Call of the Lamb <laughs> okay we got some trinkets oh we got a stage catch item and, and I, okay only one trinket get on hit taunt or taunt two but bleed or miss that would be good for our leper when he uses ruin because he benefits from both of those things happening. Taunt and bleeding. 
because both of the things cause him to take damage and therefore get an attack buff. Even though his chops are weak. I wonder, I'm still wondering if break counts as a chop skill. Mind your wheels. My wheels. They have nothing left to give. I wonder if it counts as a chop skill because if it doesn't then it wouldn't get the debuff but then it wouldn't get the buff against cosmic. Hmm. Don't know. The also, I'm not really noticing the difference between be low graphics and medium graphics, so that's cool. Okay, most people want to leave this time, but like we could take these guys. <laughs> no one likes. No one likes him. He doesn't like anyone. Uh, we're gonna. We're like, yeah, let's let's fight him. We get more out of fighting them than running away. Like we get something out of fighting them versus running away, where we just lose relics. So you're all gonna fight against your will. Destroy it. Destroy it before it can birth. I've been thinking about when to do the uh, the long stream as well. The like 12 hour stream I've been thinking of doing. To celebrate 300 even though I've dropped down to 299. <laughs> uh, I'll still celebrate. I'll still celebrate. But yeah, I was thinking of doing it next weekend, but I don't think next weekend is any good. It might be the Saturday after the 19th. That's what I'm thinking for like a 12 hour stream. Clear your calendars. I don't think I've ever skipped a fight. I will fight everyone. <laughs> I will not stop. Fisticuffs. <laughs> they will all fall before me. <laughs> um, yeah, I create ruin. Go for it, buddy. I bet I have break. I could find out if it's cost the chop skill. You guys, you guys, oh, you're actually more likely to blight than bleed, so I should actually be blighting you. But then this just does less damage, but it does more blight. Get him. Ah, he resisted. <laughs> so you never knocked back, and I got rid of your knockback skill, but you're also stunned. You transformed into another one of these guys. Um, there you go, let's get rid of his block. This, that felt like it wasn't a chop skill. That didn't feel like I had the minus, but then I have the 20% battle. I don't know. I don't know if it's a chop skill or not. <laughs> yeah, that's descriptive. <laughs> Newborn mutation description. Alright, everyone's getting shuffled around. We're all getting speared and fished all over the place. <laughs> I decided earlier that my skink was trying to fish because he hadn't eaten yet and he <laughs> was lying down in a way that like his tail was under his cork but the rest of him was outside of his cork. His tail was going under his cork and like the end of his tail was sticking out and <laughs> he was like just looking at me and I was like you you fishing, buddy? Trying to get something to like bite the end of your tail? <laughs> As a snack? A little bit of lunch? And he like looked really, looked really excited at the word fish. Like he was hype. I didn't give him any fish. He can't really eat fish. But he was hype about the word fish. He liked how that sounded. <laughs> Ah, stop resisting the blight. <laughs> You're supposed to resist blight less than you resist bleed. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Of harm. Oh, you can't do much from there. 
Oh, oh barnacles. <laughs> Barnacles mean if you uh, move, I think, into that position. I think it takes over a position, not a person. If you move, you take damage. Yeah, let's deal with this guy. <laughs> Get rid of him. A petty hindrance. Ah, this is probably the best. Try and blind those two. It worked. They are blind. I skink only wants to play when I don't have time to play. I swear, every time I have to like, like I come down to look at him. And I'm like, all right, I gotta, go, I gotta go do work stuff. Uh, oh, that position. Just chop it. Uh, but yeah, like I gotta go up and do work stuff. But I'm, just, I'm just seeing you for a moment, and he's like at the glass, like play with me, and I'm at the glass, like look, I only have a second. Hello, PD. I only have a second little guy, and he's like, play! He'll lay up, he'll put on the hoodie, and he'll climb up, he'll go straight for the shoulder. I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have time. I appreciate that you're on my shoulder. <laughs> That's my favourite. But it's always, it's always when I don't have time. Whenever I do have time, he's not interested. <laughs> only when I'm busy is he like, it's time. <laughs> I've got a game. <laughs> but you can always see it in his eyes. Whenever I pick him up, I have the hoodie on to protect my arms. And I, I pick him up. And he'll give me the look of, of wanting to go up. <laughs> he'll give me the look. And then he'll just climb. He'll begin his journey upwards. And the other day he did like a lap of me. I was very proud. So I'm trying to convince him not to... When he gets on my shoulder, I don't want him to go down my back <laughs> because then it's really hard to keep track of where he is and stop him from falling because he is clumsy. <laughs> so I'm tr I want him to go straight across to the other shoulder so I don't have to do any weird bending to keep him flat. Uh, and the other day he did it. He did. He went up one arm, onto the shoulder, across the other shoulder, down the arm. I was very proud of him. <laughs> It was a good time. <laughs> Sometimes he goes into the hood. That's that's pretty good too. But then it's hard to keep track of him in the hood as well. <laughs> yeah, he's super clumsy. He loves climbing, but he absolutely will fall every time without fail. <laughs> like, because skinks have no way of climbing. Like, they have nothing that benefits them other than claws. So he'll. He'll grip his little claws in me, as I am. We'll have to have the hoodie. Um, but like, he's also pretty heavy, so so he'll just fall all the time. <laughs> he used to climb in his tank loads, and then I think he he fell from a height just like a couple times too many, and decided he wasn't about that life. He's, sometimes I'll still catch him climbing, and he's big enough now that he can pretty much put his feet down and be fine. <laughs> But yeah, he would, he, oh, he, he would have some good falls. <laughs> he gets like all the way up on his back legs. <laughs> Reaching up, climbing. <laughs> it's kind of impressive how strong those little tiny arms are. Considering like, pretty hefty lizard. Very small arms. Strong. And sometimes, like, so there's this crevice he really wants to get into. Between his vivarium and the chimney breast. And he wants nothing more than to be in this Cold tiny gap. Nightmares. I don't know why. I don't know what he thinks is in there. But it's all he's ever wanted. Is just get stuck in that crevice. <laughs> Ideally around the top <laughs> of it where there is no floor. Uh, it's it's all he wants. So I'll open up the tank and he'll like go around the corner and start trying to get into this crevice. And I'm like, no, no, please. Um, and if he gets his hands like properly into this crevice... And like tries to pull himself into it like it's kind of hard to stop him like to pull him back out he has like a little bit of strength like there's a little there's, there's resistance <laughs> more strength than you would expect for a little lizard <laughs> let's carry on with the uh, the hellion chapter four shame and exile also 
I saw him. I was watching TV, and he is <laughs> in the gym. He's hench. <laughs> Think about how many abs they can have on that king body. <laughs> uh, but he, I was watching TV, and he was he was having a little scratch. And I was like, all right, you know, if you're good, I'll open the door. If you can stick your head out, that's fine. <laughs> but please, I want to sit on the sofa. Do not leave. <laughs> you know. So I opened it up. He stuck his little head out, and I was like, "All right, is that what you want? You just want to stick your head out?" Okay, okay. So I went to the sofa. I was keeping an eye on him, and I was like, "He wouldn't, he wouldn't just fall out of his tank, right? Like he suddenly tries to go around the corner. But if I'm not there, he wouldn't just. If there's no hands to touch to to use to get around, he wouldn't just fall, would he?" <laughs> and I was watching him, and and yes, it turns out. <laughs> if left unattended with the door open, he absolutely would just fall to the hard tile floor if left to his own devices. I went quickly to his rescue and he did not fall. I caught him well in time. He'd, there wasn't even catching. He wasn't even out the tank. I just... <laughs> I, I could see the way it was going. He would have been on the floor if I had not intervened. <laughs> so that's good to know. <laughs> yeah, he's clumsy. He's a clumsy boy. All right, we're fighting in Valhalla. The warrior's death, and her cowardice would be impugned. No, I guess not Valhalla. <laughs> uh, range dodge. That's a range dodge. And less stress. Okay, well, I guess this. Conceding cower. Oh yeah, that's a new icon. What's this say? Heresy, hell, blame description. <laughs> One day I'll I'll see the icon, the token descriptions again. Maybe. What's this? Rotten vegetable. Uh oh, that's like. Oh, it's like a hit. Okay. Plead with the vegetable thrower. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, the back. Okay. <laughs> I am. I am hitting the gym. I'm I'm not myself at all. I'm hitting the gym every day at 6 a.m. I'm I'm not an early getter up. But I've been really struggling to get up lately, though. I've been trying to get up extra early because it's been kind of good to like have so much extra time. Uh, uh what do I do? What are they? All? Oh, I can see what they're all doing. So no one throwing things at me, so I can just do that and deal with the stress. Um. Yeah, I'm really not like a morning person, but um, whereas like summer, it's a little bit easier to get up in the morning. But lately, where it hasn't been sunny, it's been really hard. <laughs> yeah, six in the morning, straight to the gym. I say straight. Lay in bed, looking at Reddit for as long as I can justify. <laughs> All right, I think I'm doomed. I, I think that's, that's probably the intention. <laughs> right now, hard to get up in the stomach. Too hot. When it's like bright um, and like too hot to stay under the covers, I, I'm pretty like okay with getting up. Whenever it's like cold outside, because I get I get super cold. Um, whenever I can stay under the covers, that's the dream. Mm, too hot. They cast her out. Yeah, that was the intention. Exile. Unwelcome and unsung. Yeah, when it's like too hot to be under the covers, I'm like, alright, we may as well get up. When it's cold, that's when that's when I cannot leave the bed. <laughs> I must be warm. It's the the cold blood. Uh damage ignores guard. It wins you, it moves you forward. It moves guard. I don't see a lot of point in this. I think in the first game, didn't Breakthrough hit like all three people? Like, didn't it hit multiple? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see much point of adding that. Since I've already ditched... You have a disease. Since I already ditched um, the other attack that moves. Oh, you've got the worries. Me too, buddy. <laughs> Let's put minus 50%. 
Um, stress resist. <laughs> Which way do I go? Well, it's unknown everywhere. But, um... I guess I could just take this. Oh, but then... Um, yeah, I may as well take the one that doesn't have combat in the middle. They all go to the same place. <laughs> Enjoy my thinking noises when I have too many thoughts. I can't vocalise them all at the same time. They're overlapping. <laughs> I do that at work as well when I'm trying to think of something and I have the, you know... The multiple thoughts at the same time that just I, I understand them all but they overlap each other and I can't make a coherent sentence out of them. Oh they they all Oh no, you wanna fight. Everyone else wants to leave. You guys wanna lose fire and get you're gonna like get so stressed out if you do that. Are you kidding? Alright, you might not like him, but he is the voice of reason. We can't, again, never back down. <laughs> fight everyone but yeah too stress it's gonna just melt her down um tempted to start with this but need to probably start with trying to take someone out oh it was just this one mouth output need to prioritize exactly <laughs> it's all at the same time it's too much <laughs> Ah, uh, we could use the Glimmer. Do we need an ounce of prevention, or should I just go in with an attack? It probably wouldn't hurt to get some resistances. Collaboration confers advantage. Especially since they're, they're doing all this. Not that having the resistances has ever made a difference. <laughs> you got deboned. Oh no. Your bones. Ruin first. How many baubles do I have? <laughs> do I have like few enough baubles that you'll lose your negative token? <laughs> Get that regen going. The best move. <laughs> okay. Hopefully there's no more of you. Yeah, you should bleed out. I bought some new shorts the other day, which I haven't, like, worn yet, <laughs> but they're really cute. Um, they're like silky, they're like silky shorts, and they have uh, little cactuses on them. They're, they're covered. It's covered in, like, cactuses and succulents. They're very cute. I was shopping in a place that has lots of, uh, like, dungarees, and I love dungarees. Big fan. Uh, <laughs> there, there were so many. I saw loads of shops with dungarees in. Which you don't, you don't normally see so many, but they were, like, really bright colours. And there are a bunch with, like, sunflowers on in multiple shops. I saw dungarees with sunflowers on, and I was like, dang, I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> Fashionista over here. <laughs> I can't even see my, my sunflowers. Eh. Eh. See, fashionista. <laughs> oh, am I am I back in the same place that I was? My resolve is tested. Meltdown! Oh, we are more likely to have a meltdown here. So that makes sense. And you're really stressed out. I should have used the beer. <laughs> I just didn't. I was just so focused on, on taking people down. Um, we were doing so much damage. Maybe we should use it now. Because it helps other people as well. And it will heal you actually. Yeah, yeah. Forgot I had the heal as well. I got so in the zone of just like, doing damage. Don't care about your children, we're only doing one damage anyway. Uh, I don't think I care about the corpses. Intimidate's better. Get the taunt so that the barbarian gets left alone. 
Yeah, you took more damage. You don't really take advantage of the vulnerable. Oh, but you can't hear that. Why did that do less damage? They were vulnerable. They should take more damage. That's a lot of bleed. I would like to do something about that. Also, we have this laudanum that I just didn't use either. <laughs> uh, you know what? If we can kill you with a purge, I'd be cool with that. Get rid of all the corpses. Let's try use the Vestal's Menstruation. Ah, oh, but then if I have... No, I, I use a battlefield medicine. Battlefield medicine comes with a heal as well. This wound at least has and I haven't been using battlefield two. medicine at all. Oh, blind. But you're also bloodlusting. Oh, no, you only have your attack available. Okay, the air is better. Mm, yeah, let's go for the damage version. Didn't work, but that's fine. The direct damage. Because the Blight does more over time because it's four. But in the short term, <laughs> the incision does more on, on hit. Ah, you're not chopping for enough to kill him. You can break him for enough, though, but you didn't. Oh, but you got your uh, trinket thing there. Now you don't get more um, health. You may just kill this guy then. Oh, look at like reducing stress, but just getting out the fight also helps. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. More crit, less healing received. That might be interesting for my Plague Doctor, who already has, who doesn't have, I would think of a different character. He has no but extra critting, just is great at critting. But you don't need a lot of healing. Yet. You haven't been in a situation where you've needed much healing because you're in a position that isn't usually hit. Let's try it, and if I notice you losing a lot of health, we'll do something about that. Do I have a, a relic? No. Do I have a combat item? Yes. There you go. You can remove stealth now. Anyone else got space? No. Okay. And I was just yelling because they have conditions. All right, you know what? Low graphics is the jam. Echoes of humanity. <laughs> I don't notice the difference, and it's running a thousand times smoother. I thought when I tried, well, I guess when I tried low graphics before, I also had the epic launcher running. So, mm -hmm. did I get that? No. Bleed him. The fiend's strength dwindles. Alright, he is shadowed, but if he comes to the front, I can yawp him. Start with our ounce of prevention. Empowered. Give us a chance, oh. maybe. Maybe it'll work this time. Maybe it'll make a difference. You'll ruin on for three turns. And get our region up. Okay, our buff turn <laughs> is up. Don't fell my trees. Hang in there, Hellion. You just had one meltdown. It happens to everyone. You haven't taken any damage. I'd like you to be weak. Alright, that was a crit. Oh, that's a lot of stress. 
Okay, but he has the resolute chance. That looked like it showed like a, a, a weird little image. Um, at the end there. Do you see it as well? Like a red image like showed up for a sec. Like a subliminal one. <laughs> Do I say anything? <laughs> Jinx it. Yeah, it, it is running smoothly. <laughs> no jinxing. Only low quality graphics. <laughs> Okay, she got the good healing. Let's bash the heck out of this guy while we can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> woof, woof. I hear a little dog in the background. Too <laughs> like I had him in a headlock. <laughs> oh, back into the shadows. Oh no, just moved back. Okay. You can't escape me. Get poked. <laughs> oh, he has a really bad opinion for that was like three. <laughs> I wonder what this is. It's, it's like a, a doll, like a whittled doll, because he looks at it when he gets hit. Blight does more damage over time. Bells ringing when the Vestal hits are majestic. The holy bells. You know what this trinket that he has that's giving him the taunts? It's working, it's working with the ruin. It's doing it. You know what? This blight does a lot of damage very quickly. <laughs> it builds up. Uh, you should use break. Oh no, you don't, because this is guard. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that was more an experiment to see if uh, this counts as the shield. As like a block. It's not. I didn't think it was. Uh, but he is still alive, which is an issue. I would like him to not be- oh my goodness. He is resisting death. He is not ready to go. Go on Vestal. Good job. Bong. The Vestal brings the death blows. She does what the melee units cannot. Oh, there we go. We got, we got a new, uh, an another play doctor crit. About time. It's been a while. I quite like this team. Until the next test is put before you. There's like just enough like interesting stuff going on with them. <laughs> That's what you get to being a monarch with 75% less power on job skills, okay? <laughs> he has to get the the Vestal to come in and clean up his kills. He's just the assist. <laughs> but he is taking a lot of hits. <laughs> and slowly powers up off of him. All right, they're buffed and their bones are weaved. Are these cosmic? Are you cosmic? You're cosmic. We will do 100% more chop damage to these guys. Uh, no, answer prevention first. Cooperation is the key. I like how dramatic the Plague Doctor's uh, animations are. I'm to Yorp just to give them both weak. Yeah, why not? Yorp! Yeah. But 
deadly all the same. But these front two do a lot of bleeding, so maybe having the resistance will actually do something. I can so so many buffs. Too much armor. Let's break it first. Ignore the armor. Don't infuel me. My whole thing is that he needs to be strong. It's very important. Hey, don't give him more shield. I want to use my chop. Yeah, menstruations. I could battle for medicine over here, maybe. Um, depends if it will heal her. It won't, so I won't. Can you get blighted? Yes. I care less about the shield when I'm using um, the blighting skill. No longer winded. This fight feels like it's already gone on for a long time and we've done like nothing. <laughs> so I've been bashing them around a little bit. But I can't get through these shields. <laughs> I normally go for the back line first, but I don't really have people that hit back lines this time. Um, you want units to bleed. So I guess you should be focusing on second unit An <laughs> everyone's everyone's so blind <laughs> you're fine that was 14 that was a lot of damage but you have like a bunch of health so that's okay you help out on that one the Blight will hopefully be enough to take that one down. Stop taking my sight. Stop taking my strength. <laughs> I want all these things. Oh no, don't give him regen. That's not what I wanted. Hit, hit for 32 damage. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> the Plague Doctor's still the one to finish. <laughs> you know what? You keep on bleeding, buddy. That's not bad on you. <laughs> um, you you need an enemy to bleed. But they don't want to. Okay, that's like kind of a lot of bleeding. Do you still have ruin? I don't think so. But like, you're doing a lot of damage now, so... Oh, he <laughs> gave himself blind. <laughs> okay, you're, you're a little bit horrified. Everyone's still fine. Please bleed. Thank you. You do 20% damage now, oh, or more damage. Don't be scared, Plague Doctor. You've got the power of light. And probably like some lavender in your beak. That's too much bleeding! <laughs> <laughs> Paracelsus also already read that. <laughs> you forgot to get and said no. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Battlefield Medicine. <laughs> this time, this okay, okay, this time, this time, Battlefield Medicine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good. Thank you, Hollow. Yeah, perhaps I was a little, with a little bit bloodthirsty there. <laughs> Things got out of control. 
20% more damage. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Vestal. A kill shot. <laughs> Not a great aim. It was, it was very helpful. <laughs> I'd forgotten. <laughs> I'd forgotten that, you know. It's the, uh, I'm usually a healer, but gun. <laughs> I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten it was a healer at heart. Not just gun. <laughs> okay, we're down to the, the squishies at the back. Get that chop damage. Now that we're fighting against Cosmic. <laughs> Yeah, Parasols just didn't think that they needed to do any healing. Yeah, this Vestals here has got it all covered, right? <laughs> Almost. There we go. The bleeding did it. Last one. I can hit you. Great news. You don't even have your buff anymore. Can you hit it? No. And only blinding gas. You can hit though. You have the power of God and science on this team. Uh, you know what? We could kind of use some of this. Take down some stress. And having another round of bloodlust wouldn't hurt. Missed. I missed a corpse. But it still clears them. That's what I was looking for. That's a good way to use my blind. If I need to clear corpses. That's super good to know. I like the sound effect on horror as well. Pow! Dealt with. <laughs> it is. Alright, we did it. We beat them up. Uh, so we got the stained ones. That one unlocks the cultist trinkets. Less damage per negative token. Uh, and this one. Chance to give you stealth. Oh, this is the one I had on my grave robe before. Chance to give you stealth. If you're stealth, more crit. If you're not stealth, more damage taken. I, I'm i not a big fan of the cultist trinkets so far. None of them I really rate. So I probably won't equip either of those. The draw packs are usually just like too much. Because like, it's cool that you'll have more crit when you're in stealth. But as soon as you attack, you're out of stealth. Which means usually by the enemy's turn. Like, I guess you'd put it on your slowest unit, because then round start, chance of stealth. If you get it, you don't attack until the end. But then, after you attack, you lose your stealth, and you're waiting. No, because it's around turn start. Yeah, I guess that's the way to do it. Put it on someone who's super slow. The fire is lit. The table is set. The inn awaits its favorite guests. Got a token. Okay, what are our new quirks? You're a clutch hitter. If your H oh, if your HP is low, if your HP is low, more crit. If the party HP is low, plus twenty five percent damage. Maybe that's why we did so much damage at one time, like when um everyone was hurting. Maybe that was it. Instead of even absorbing tail, <laughs> more chance people liking him. All right, we've got a new thing for you. So you get less damage taken. Less damage taken for negative token. Uh, very important distinction. When you use Intimidate, you can get a combo token. Game when hit, chance to bleed. Uh, yes, that doesn't synergize with that anymore because... Oh, we have too many bubbles. Uh, because 
this one benefits from having negative tokens. I'll leave this one because the random taunts were nice. You don't have anything new, so you can have that. You don't get too many negative tokens, but you know, it's nice to get rid of them. Chance of better relationships. Soft. Right down chance. Did you always have that? I think that was new. What was that thing about being blind? When damaged blind, okay. Not great. I don't want to use those. Okay. Cool. Uh, 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 did I use uh, my glimmers? There you go, you don't have a combat item. <laughs> the sounds of thoughts. Uh, move resistance. Should go on my leper because he has the most stuff that he can only use from position one. Enjoy your drum. Uh, mastery trainer. The means of mastery. <laughs> I thought he was going to say more. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was the start of a sentence. The means of mastery. Okay, what does this give? Removes horror. Oh, it already removes horror. Plus 10% uh, death resistance. Minus 3 stress. You're 25. The allies doesn't change. <laughs> Thank you, narrator. <laughs> Uh, we have four, so everyone gets one thing, one upgrade. Mm, that does double the bleeding, and I'm using that a lot. This, the main benefit is of this is one more stress heal. You know what? Yeah, I'm taking the if it bleeds first. Um, what of yours do you want upgraded? It's up to six. That gives day uh, the days is good. Ah, uh, you know what? That that's probably worth it. The days two people at the back. I think days and stun are the same. Like effectively, I think they both make you miss a turn. Uh, hand light rarely comes up. You do use judgment a lot. Yeah, you use judgment a lot. May as well make it a little bit stronger. And you. It's a lot of things on the screen for this one. Uh... So it ignores blind when the target is comboed. Could be worthwhile. That gives you the bleed. Which feels unnecessary at the moment. I already have like kind of a few things that give me bleed. That ignores stealth. Removes stealth. That's the only difference. So you can hit someone's stealth and get rid of it. Which is actually kind of useful. Yeah, that one doesn't and that one puts combo on them as well, but I'm not usually hitting someone useful. So yeah, I'll take the Intimidate. And plus our Intimidate's buff from the uh, Relic. Alright, I think those were good ideas. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Okay, I've got to fix my wheels. Yeah, yeah I don't understand to promote the same thing. Hmm. Okay, so... Oh, Luxury Gear, wait, we get... No, no, that's the... um. We get a buff from Medical Gear with this pet. But hey, less stress. Good. That's nice. An improvement. We have a lot of baubles. Which is kind of like not beneficial because we have a trinket. Is this the blood? No. Oh, we also want to use smoke bombs. We want blood and smoke bombs. So you don't have either of. We'll take three a breads. Uh, we'll take four bread. The vessel has a chance of the bread working. Okay, that's a good one if I'm going to get knocked down to death's door. <laughs> Scary. Um, might take the whiskey bottles. And help with stress. Uh, this is just a good... This is just good. <laughs> it feels rare to buy a trinket there. It's just good stuff. 
Um, move resist and stun resist. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll take that. Purely positives and it gets my baubles back down. We don't need flapjacks. <laughs> no, don't end the expedition. Um, I always think the button to, is uh, to go back to like the screen with all my all my buds. I'll give it to you. Oh, uh, I need someone to take the glimmers. I, I don't think I actually pressed the mouse button to move back to you, which oh. Okay, chill. <laughs> it, was, it really wanted me to be on. I don't know why it keeps changing. What am I pressing? Oh, I see. It. <laughs> the arm of my chair was on the arrow key. <laughs> it's alright. It, the game wasn't possessed. Uh, we're fine. <laughs> there you go. Eat up. Ah, uh, in items. Okay, we've just got the whiskey bottles. So, everyone gets to have a drink. You two? Drink up. Mm, they hate each other. So I was having too many baubles. I have a relic on... I think I put it on you. It's a relic I started with. But if I have... Oh, wait. Ah, I read it wrong. I thought it was if I had, like, not enough but If I had less than 25 baubles in my inventory, remove a negative token. It's if I have more than 25 in my inventory, remove a negative token. Alright, I read it wrong. <laughs> I thought I was getting the benefit of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb. <laughs> hey, they loved it. And someone got a sunny disposition. You did. Hey, everyone loves you. <laughs> Paracelsus is just like the best. <laughs> just everyone likes them. They just don't like pigs. Like <laughs> everything else is great about them. <laughs> the provinces and cantrebs of our land. Crumbling and undone. Ah, uh, this is a Hellion thing. If rank 2 plus damage, ooh. We don't use the breakthrough, but having the damage would be nice. Put that creature den. Uh, minus 33% enemy advantage chance? Does that mean I'm, I have the advantage? I think it means I have the advantage. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the Tangle and get this, this relic. The, the Rotten Tomato. Mud and rain. Resignation and death. <laughs> Question of genuine, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I didn't think you were like, hey, 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 you read it wrong. <laughs> I didn't think you're making fun of me. <laughs> also, the narrator sounded like a demon. But I was talking over him. <laughs> I'm kind of mad that the game's running so well. On, on the low graphics. Rewards only. Resignation. I feel like he's speaking with like an extra deep voice. All right, everyone wants to go to the hero shrine, which is also where I want to go, so that's fine. Let me, please, let me see the map, so I can see what I lock myself out of. Yeah, you don't play it. So you wonder at the air. Yeah, it was just that relic that I misread. <laughs> uh, so we go hero shrine. What am I looking for? I want to go to the creature den. So when do I need to worry about that? Oh, yeah, in region three or four. Creature den's all the way up here, so I don't need to worry about it for a while. Hmm. Do I need to deal with this lair? Or can I wait until next region? This is still the mystery. I don't know when it three of out of four regions i still don't know if the fourth region is the mountain or if it's four regions and then the mountain but yeah let's go to the hero shrine look ahead a place to reflect if i've had such bad luck with the lairs I get a candle here too. Yeah, I think I'll I'll try getting to because I don't think I've made it past three because I always panic and try and go to the lair. So maybe I'll I'll try not to go to the lair this time and find out. 
So I think we're on the last one of you. The last Hellion chapter. Chapter 5. The Great Emptiness. Yeah, yeah. Alone and untethered, she wandered the countryside, fighting for sport and soaking her wounds in wine. In wine? Fancy. She sought death at every turn, desperate for a second chance to prove her mettle. But it seemed even that terrible wraith had forsaken her. Her isolation was absolute. Her shame barely concealed by a fragile facade of fearlessness. Fragile facade of fearlessness. Alliteration. Oh, okay, it's not a fight. Adrenaline rush. Uh, your HP is low. You heal. You remove bleeding and winded. And you gain a heal of 20% on attack. That seems incredible. Um, Howling end. Maybe the front two. You hit the front two. And you just do a lot of damage. But you win yourself and you move back one. Alright, I guess that's it. I thought there'd be a bit more to her story. <laughs> the Vestals one felt more fleshed out. Uh, I don't know why I opened the inventory. I don't need it. You. I want the big heal skill. Where is it? Why can't I see it? There. Okay, it's a, it's a fist. I thought it was a different icon. Um, what do I want it instead of? I like the stress heal that comes with the, the partying. Do I carry out Wicked Hack? Because I'm, I'm basically just using it if it bleeds all the time. What if I get rid of these two and put on these two? There we go. I, can, I thought I clicked it. We'll move back sometimes is the only problem. We don't have a way of moving back, f uh, moving forwards. We could do it with Breakthrough. But what do I put Breakthrough in place of? Mm, and this is winding me. And has a three cooldown. Maybe we don't use the Howling End. I like it because it, it, it's strong. It looks really strong. But moving back puts us to so position three. Puts us in a lot of trouble. We don't have an easy way to move forward. And then... Uh, but we don't have anything that wins us now, do we? Uh, this wins us. But this removes winding. And this removes winding. And this gives the buff. So this causes it. This removes it. I could have bleed out. I can only hit the front unit though if I have bleed out. But that's a stronger hit with bleed. That I benefit from the bloodlust. And if it bleeds. Oh, if it bleeds, it's already the attack that causes bleeding. Wait. But this causes winded. I'm just looking for something that causes winded. Is it guaranteed to lose one turn to this reposition? Yeah. If the skill pushed me back. Yeah. So I was looking at all these things. Hmm. Then this is still my main attack. And I can use this from the third position! Maybe it's fine! <laughs> the only thing it does is push my Plague Doctor into second. Which they can still do most of the... They can still do two attacks from. And the Plague Doctor can always use their turn to swap. I mean, the Plague Doctor can do a lot of good stuff too. I'll try it. I'll see. She does a lot of damage. Yeah. It's a lot of damage. I'll, I'll give it a trial. And see if I like it. Everyone wants to go to the unknown. We'll lose a shield, which is terrifying. 
Uh, <laughs> but sure, we have no need to go to the hospital. The unknown awaits. Be wary. What? Thankfully, you can just swap your skills around whenever you like, unless you have um. The plating is spent. We are exposed. People who are like get stressed out when other person uses certain skills, then you can't swap them. But in general, being able to swap your skills whenever you like is super handy for trying out these things. Giving in to when you get new skills, is easier than holding out against it. They are heroes. We'll get flame and food. Don't really need flame. We have a lot of flame. We'll lose flame and get relics, trinkets, relics. We'll gain flame and gain scouting. You know what? I'm going to take the scouting. Because I need to avoid going anywhere that takes away my shields because I will get ambushed. <laughs> if I can help it. Or else I need to go somewhere that I can fix my stagecoach. There was somewhere that could fix a stagecoach. Was it the hoarder? Oh no, it was the assistance encounters could potentially give you thick shields and wheels. That was it. To land it. Okay, flame and food. Flame and wheel. Yeah, flame and wheel. A hundred percent. Give me the wheel. I want to I want to do my best to avoid the ambush. Because the ambush encounter you can get through, but you'll you'll get ambushed, but you'll have to spend one turn like one person's turn, they're picked at random. Every turn. Uh, to fix a stagecoach. So like one round it might be like, okay, Plague Doctor has to fix stagecoach this turn. The next round, okay, the Hellion has to fix stagecoach this turn. And just having one person not be able to attack really makes a difference. Okay, we've got a lost battalion. Hey, you'll give us a buff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's worth checking. It's worth checking what everyone wants to do. Oh, no luck today, Hollow. No Pokemon for you. I wonder if it's worth actually swapping these two, starting her in the first position and having her knocked back into this position so then these guys are where I want them. That's probably something to do. Oh, <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genius. Blind them. Daze them. Heck yeah. They can't do anything. <laughs> they can't do anything but watch this happen. He's even got a combo token on him. Look at it. Uh, unfortunately, you're blind. But it's only a 50% chance. Uh, what do I want you to do? Do I want you to ruin first? Or intimidate? Ruin. I was trying to remember what um, my upgrade was for Intimidate. <laughs> it was that I could hit stealth people. And remove their stealth. You already have a turn. Oh! I bet Days doesn't make them skip their turn. Stun makes them skip their turn. Days puts their turn to the end of the round. Okay, okay, okay. That's different than what I thought. But it's still good. Get blighted. Did I upgrade this now? I think. What did I upgrade on you? Did I upgrade on some prevention? No. It was just blinding gas, that's right. You only have the one thing upgraded. The judgment upgrade. More damage. That arrow went. Oh, bolt, I suppose, went straight through her. Cruel. Opportunity. 
Okay, on miss chance to bleed, but the bleed will activate my ruin, which will give me more damage. <laughs> so I'm not using her new move because I want to swap my party around. Two to four. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, this is two to three with the debuffs. <laughs> this wound at least has been tended to. Look at that. Look at that damage. Put that put that guy in a headlock. He'll be safe there. Combo. <laughs> okay, he's really blighted. <laughs> That's some big indirect damage. Yeah, the I, I've always loved the Play Doctor. This Play Doctor's super great. In um, Dark Ascension One, the Play Doctor is my favourite. I got so overwhelmed by how great the leper was <laughs> in this one. But no, this variant of the leper, I am, I'm unsure of. I'm unconvinced. Come here. <laughs> I mean, maybe now I can do my big move. Just for like for style. There we go. Also style. <laughs> the best sort of styling on everyone. <laughs> like, ah, oh, I know you got a big new fancy move, but how about this? Bolt of lightning from the heavens. <laughs> I can't compete with this with your spear. <laughs> the loathing I'm straight up magic. Okay, everyone has an item. What's this less of? Less stun resist. Um, I'll give it to you. I'll be the least mad if you're stunned. Alright, and then I want to shuffle my units. I think I do it like this. Yeah. Okay, forwards. I was stuck on one path for longer than I thought. Oblivion's ingress. Oblivion's ingress reduces loathing. Pillaging brigands. Enriching themselves brigands. as the world collapses. Infectious. That's um oh longer duration on like effects, ailments, whatever you call them. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Swapped. Now I can open with this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I did hit. <laughs> I was very worried about just like completely whiffing that. <laughs> it had the repost, so it hit me back. Ah, I had such dreams. <laughs> Dealing with that dog. I really, I really should have used ounce of prevention. <laughs> Um, but hey, Ruin's going to be really good. Go ahead and get that regen on first. I think that's probably more important. Than dealing with all this. Woo! This dog's all about reposting. I wish more people had repost. I really like repost. This fire is doing like more than I'd like. Okay, chance of, chance of killing. <laughs> Early results oh, enjoyed. the dog turned into a person. Okay, add prevention, add prevention, better for medicine. Here is everything. Yeah. 
Extinguished at last. And it has a heal. It's be better than administrations because it has the heal. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was tempted to leave it just to keep like topping up ruin, but I don't think it's necessary. And then you can deal with your winded. And now you just want people to bleed for five turns. Okay, now we'll do our ounce of prevention. We'll finally get some resistance. <laughs> I guess. On other. this team that's entirely about dealing um, damage over time. Still never works. <laughs> Ah, you're blind. Wandered. Take this front one. Ooh. Mm. Try it. Fail. Still blind. <laughs> you can't hit the front unit. But you have caused bleeding, so you now do 20% more damage to him. Oh, you also caused bleeding. You can combo. I didn't upgrade this. Uh, do I care a lot about blinding gas? I mean, this is good too. How crazy the Vestal's regen is. It is amazing. It's like the first thing I upgrade. <laughs> Because, like, path. just, it's it's on everyone, all the time. Every turn. Uh, we should purge. Bring people a bit closer. He does not like to be in the front. Do you get your bonus damage? You should have. <laughs> no valuable medicine. No one no one deserves it. <laughs> Only kill. Two to four. Intimidate is actually better. <laughs> <laughs> the Vestal does more damage! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we, have, we have quite a few damage over time, uh, peeps in this team. Greater threats await those who dare. Right, where are we at? Are we at a uh, marker? Alright, I'll... Oh, and this is... Um, ingress that's fine i think it's probably saved it is it is time to end it's gone really fast i really want to keep playing but i also know i really need to go to bed because i've been so tired in the mornings <laughs> i know i can't um on tuesday i went to bed like a bit later than normal i was so tired in the morning it was so hard to get up <laughs> so i shouldn't do that again wait it's only been oh <laughs> I, was, I looked at my like session i was like wait how's it only been an hour and a half um, that's because I had to stop the stream to catch up the time. <laughs> that's right. I did half an hour before. Yeah, Darkest and the Two streams are great. I really love the game. It's so much fun. <laughs> so good. But don't worry, I'll be playing more of it next week. <laughs> so tune in. Uh, my next stream. Yeah, I am waking up earlier. 6 a.m. It's so early. I remember, like, not that long ago, a few years ago, I was waking up at, like, 11 a.m. on, like, an early day. <laughs> Except for work days, but on a weekend, I'd wake up at, like, 11 a.m. if I had something to do. I'd wake up at, like, 2 p.m. if I had nothing to do. <laughs> now, 6 a.m. Uh, I used to go to bed a lot earlier. But, you know, it, it does make the days feel longer, especially when I can... Like, it's nice to spend a little bit of time before work just chilling out. Like, I do my exercise 
get dressed and everything uh, then like I can I can play a little bit of a game or watch some YouTube or something before work which is nice yeah somehow the time that you gain like early feels like more time than if you go to bed late than the time in the in the night but I feel like that night time I never do anything like useful in that time I would just like mess around online like maybe I'll play a game or something but like I uh, know that time seems to get feels goes really fast and yeah it's just kind of wasting time it's usually because I, I didn't want to go to bed like because I was um just like oh, I don't want to go to work tomorrow so I just won't go to bed because that'll make the day last longer <laughs> it means it feels like longer until I go to work <laughs> but yeah it turns out that just makes the next day super sleepy <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's like procrastinating the next day. <laughs> Which then doesn't help because, yeah, then you're really tired for the next day and it drags. And then, <laughs> yeah, you just do the same thing over and over. And then by the time you get the weekend, you're really tired. <laughs> and you sleep all day. But yeah, I'm trying. I'm even trying to stick to my same like schedule of going to bed and waking up on the weekend. Which, it feels really adult. Like, it feels like a real adult thing to do to keep your sleeping schedule at a weekend as much as possible. Uh, I tend, like, you know, if I'm out late or whatever, then that's fine. But, <laughs> too grown up. Yeah, just sitting and thinking you should do something and not, <laughs> not really wanting to. Yeah, yeah. Need to get tired. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. But yeah, the, the morning time feels like more like I can do stuff. And it feels longer. Like, that hour I get, like, before work, just to, like play games uh like after i've done my work and everything that feels that's like a really long hour which is nice <laughs> all right all right i'm gonna get ready for bed uh my next stream is on saturday at 2 p.m bst my normal weekend time i will be playing more Yu-Gi-Oh! duelists of the roses yeah uh we're playing through the red rose route this time we beat the white rose route so now we're going through the red rose route i'm looking forward to playing more of that as well <laughs> All right. See you guys on Saturday, hopefully. Hope you have a, a great rest of your week until then. And and after then, if I don't see you. <laughs> see you then. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.